Welcome back, plungers. Thanks for pulling up and tapping in. So, in the last episode, I showed you some stuff uh, about my build. So, if you saw the last episode, you'll see some newness here. I gave us some windows so we get some natural lighting in here. And as you can see, it's, it's very dark. So, uh, let me turn this light on real quick. Yeah, that's better. Hey, Flukes. What's going on? I wish we could pet all the animals, like the Lystrosaurus. I wish we could pet them. So let me just run back here and show you what we got going on in here. So we've got the windows pretty much going around the entire property here, right? And then above that, on the bird platform, I put some windows in there. Let me go in here so y'all can see it better. So yeah, that's the bird platform, but I put a glass roof there. Again, for some natural light, because these guys in here, I mean, they get some because they're in glass. And I, I built this so I don't have problems because like I said, I do close doors a lot, but sometimes I forget. And um, the Nothosaurus is notorious for coming onto my base, which is also why I put up uh, some turrets. And those turrets have been getting busy. So, we're gonna go to the next building in the property because I did some decorating as promised. And we'll get into some of these mods. So let's uh, get up. Oh, let me let me close this because you could see you could hear that the you could hear the turrets are getting active. And I don't want to leave that open, and I do not want to be out here myself with doors open when these Lystrosaurus come. So, I said I would decorate. I didn't do much out here, as you can see, except put this uh, trough from the uh, automated arc mod that I've listed in my last episode. So here are some of the, the features of that mod. This is uh, the grinder, and they all have the beautiful logo on it. This is the refrigerated chemistry bench. Here is the industrial forge, which doesn't take up nearly as much room as the normal one. This is the trash can. And these things all have the pull function on them. So this is the vault, 650 storage. So I, I didn't think it was necessary to put more than that. This is the polymer transmuter, which is beautiful when it is fully lit up. And you could come in here and I guess you could put polymer in here and convert it to other forms of polymer. I, I haven't used it yet, but that's what it is. This is the repair station, so you can throw things in here and repair, and it also repairs structures passively. So if you have damage to structures, which I, before I finished building, uh, Lysosaur got under here, and I tried to get him away from my base before he decided to eat my generator, and uh, he decided to get active under here and destroy some of these pieces, but as you can see, they're all at full health right now. So, back to it. So we've got this forge, this pyrotechnics forge. And I have no idea what it does yet, so. We have our refrigerators. 300 storage for the refrigerators. Then we have this auto grill, which works exactly like a regular grill, by the way. Then we have this industrial cooker, which is so cute and tiny. Look at it, look at it. Works exactly the same. We have a spoiling bin, and that's self-explanatory. You throw meat in there and it spoils it much quicker than it'll spoil in your inventory. And then a fabricator. Yeah. And the fabricator yeah. does fabricator things. And then we will come up here and we'll check this out. So we've got our, our hat rack. Okay, the textures on this particular one isn't very good. The Western decor, the textures aren't great, but you get the point when you put things around. So I got a nice chair in the corner. I got the bed. I've got this. This you can, uh, for mind wipes, you can do the mind wipe and then you can go in here and you could relearn all your engrams. Uh, you have to save it first, but you can go in here and you can restore all the engrams you have learned. I got a little bathtub. I got the automated park, AC. And I think that just covers a larger, area than the regular AC. 
uh, the mortar and pestle, which is the same mortar and pestle as everything else. And uh, the AA generator, which powers everything in here. And let's keep that on. And yeah, that's, that's pretty much it for this location. So, as usual, or as I did in the last episode, I'm gonna run over here and grab the Argentapis, which needs a name, by the way. I haven't named them yet. But I'm gonna show you the bridge. I was going to the right place where the bridge was. I just didn't go close enough into render location. So I'm not a complete moron. I do, I, I was on the right track. I was just, I just didn't, I just didn't keep going. So yeah. So you've seen the, that bridge and you've seen this bridge already. Correct. So we will come down over here to the other bridge. Oh yeah, and there's a bridge right here now. And my RG, I did level, did level him up a little bit. Him or her? Yeah, I did level him up a little bit. So my stamina is a lot better right now than it was before. I can go much further. Ooh, look at that. Did you see that shark? That thing was lime green, guys. A lime green shark. But yeah, that's neither here nor there. Uh, let's grab these. Let's grab these. Let's grab these. And let's drop the rest of the stuff so this can despawn and rematerialize in another form. And we will go over here to our bridge. Over here is where the bridge is. I just didn't go close enough for it to render into view before. So we're going to, there it is. There it is. That's one bridge and there's the other. And half of it is rendered in. So again, for the explicit reason, because now I can cross the bridge over here and I can cross this way and come back to this island and come back over here. A bridge going to Skull Island would be insanely massive. It would be a huge, huge build. Oh, what's going on down there? What are those sharks eating on over there? Let me keep an eye on my stamina before I drop down into the water. So yeah, this is the bridge. I did decorate it a little bit more than the others. And um, I do have a bridge that is incomplete and we're gonna head over there right now. Cause I built a bridge, like I can walk all the way to the lava island, which was my, which was my plan. I can pretty much walk. I mean, there's some small canals of water that I would have to cross, but if I'm on a T-Rex, he could walk through them or maybe swim a couple of paddles before he gets there and whatever. But I do love these Summer Bash colors on these dinos, man. They are beautiful. I got this RG, as beautiful as he may seem, I got him before I installed the Summer Bash mod. But yeah, that's, yeah. So we're gonna head over there real quick. And uh, I'll rejoin you guys when I get there. Look at this guy right here. Look at these. Not, not the source. I don't know what I called them before. I might have called them something wrong before. Let's see what level this guy is. Level 16, and this one is level 12. Eh, not good levels at all. Normally, I would kill them, so higher levels could spawn. Look, another one over here. They are notorious. They're definitely a problem one of the most powerful creatures in the game. And I have ha been having extreme trouble trying to get me, trying to get me a, a Pyromane. I have no idea what I'm doing in trying to tame them. Level nine, oh my God, these horrible levels. But yeah, I'm gonna uh, bring you guys back when I get to the next bridge.
beautiful RG. Okay, here we are. The other bridge. This one is going directly to the island right here. It's four wide in case I need to uh, bring a T-Rex along. And I do have to get rid of that pillar. I will do that at some point. But yes, there is another bridge. And I will take you to that one right now. And this bridge was a massive undertaking. Um, uh, yeah, it should be over here. Somewhere. I hope I'm not making the same mistake again. Like, not actually. Oh, okay, I know where the bridge is. I know where the bridge is. I'm gonna get to it. Do we have to wait until the next episode for the bridge? Nah. I'm definitely going to show you guys in this episode. But first, let's look at the beautiful colors on some of these creatures. Look at this T-Rex over here, man. Look at that thing. I just do not want to get into yell range. Is that a T-Rex or a Giga? That might be a Giga. Yep, Gigantosaurus. So... Let me definitely get out of here before he decides to do one of his yelly things. And uh, I'll bring you guys back again when I find this next bridge. So uh, stay tuned. Be right back with the next bridge. Okay, here we are approaching the final bridge in my group of bridges it's still under construction and it is over here connecting this part of the island to that part kind of giving me a way back around and as you can see if you look at the map there are land bridges that enable me to get back to the mainland so yeah this one is massive massive i still have three towers to build like this so I still have three, and I'm not exactly sure if I do get a Giga, if it can fit on this bridge. I might throw some railings on here, but this bridge is 139 pieces long and four pieces wide. I counted them so I could space the towers apart aesthetically. So there will be four towers total, all identical. I didn't go as far as syntax did because for me it's it's function over form for these but yeah and that's that's what i got for you guys so this is the infrastructure of of the island and i'm gonna go back for that rg and i'll talk to you guys later thanks for tapping in peace